Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you what an lab equipment looks like. Especially we are now going to talk about, or you'll, I will let you know what is what are these? What are these? You can see a little tubes. What type of tubes are these? These are simply called ignition tubes, right? Ignition tubes. I G N I T I O N. Ignition tubes. Okay, I'm Professor Dr. Moina Akhtar Mughal from Dr. Amikazi Institute of Chemistry, University of Sin Jamsharo. And I'm here again with something very interesting, something new and uh, I mean very much uh, uh, of your knowledge. So whoever is interested, I'm just telling you all these things before starting my video because uh, whoever, whomsoever is interested in watching all about this are most welcome to do it and they are i mean i'm they can join my video and watch okay so basically what's your idea of a general lab what a general lab should look like well it should look like or a chemistry lab what it sh is supposed to look like so it is supposed to have long desks benches of course a, a typical setup a um, lab setup it should have shelves to keep corrosive material like acids and of course separate shelves for flammables it should have a fridge to keep chemicals that needs a uh, temperature below zero degrees uh, celsius okay there should be a i mean if it's an antimicrobial testing lab lab then uh, it should be having a tissue culture side having incubators microscopes etc that's specifically for the some other uses also and for some antimicrobial testing also for cell cultures also such type of i mean uh, things are needed where Whereas there should be a proper bench where you can keep all your chemicals, your pipettes, like sample bottles, your reagents, your chemicals, all the scientific things you need, etc. Right? And of course, uh, next, what you need? You need a desk. You, of course, a desk is also need. A bench is needed, and a desk is also needed where you need to put your computer, your laptops and things that are related to it and needed to be connected to them that you for your use uh without wearing the gloves i mean the hand gloves right these the computers these laptops you can touch without gloves but where the rest of the things which i just mentioned it to you before that is the corrosive material like acids it should have a separate shelf uh and a separate shelf should be there for the flammables the solvents you know they are organic solvents if you're talking about if you are dealing with the organic solvents they are basically very i mean flammable so you definitely need a um, separate shelf for them right whereas um, uh, storage side is also very important for a particular chemistry lab now what is the storage size of course uh, i mean uh, you need of course uh, shelves uh, uh, and where you can keep all kind of uh, glasswares like starting from flasks all type of flasks that is titration flasks conical flasks and of course beakers and all the glasswares that is uh, supposed to be needed for a chemist supposed to be needed to a chemist that is uh, dealing all i mean all type of testings over there dealing with all type of testings over there and of course uh, um thermometers and many things and of course then a, a very important um, ingredient of a lab is your waste container there are supposed to be waste containers where you can put the things you want to i mean discard right and then of course the glass disposable uh, side is also needed uh, containers should be kept for the glass disposable disposals and of course biohaz for um, biohazards and trash etc so these are something you know a very basic uh, um, there were, um, I mean, things which I've mentioned for a particular chemistry lab, which you should be, I mean, having in your mind that what it should look like, right? So today I'm going to tell you what is an ignition tube. Now I have in with me these small little a packet of ignition tubes, right? They are made up uh, made made in Germany. Right, and they are basically it's a packet containing hundred uh, ignition tubes. You can see them. These are hundred uh, ignition tubes in this one packet. So, what these are used for? Are they disposable? Are they can be used again and again? So, things we are going like that we are going to discuss today in this video. 
So let's open this packet that contains the ignition tubes. Oh yeah, they are here. They are. You can see lots and lots of them. You can hold them in my hand, few of them, so you can see. A few I kept here so that you can see. These are tiny tubes. Simply you can see how beautiful they look like. These are called ignition tubes, right? Ignition, that is to ignite. This is something very interesting, right? Just look at their shapes. I mean, their sizes, look at the size of my finger. And then look at the size of these tubes. Just see my hand and how small they are. Okay, fine. Now let's take one and let me, or take two in my hand and I will like, try to let let you know what they are used for so these are basically called ignition tubes uh these are very small you can say and they are basically thin wall their walls are thin okay they are not that much thick wall well thick walls are also available and they are for different uses and um, there are many brands the pyrex brand is the best one this is the this is something very much you know um, the best of um, uh, is best is the pirates one okay so basically these are thin walled they are thin 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 walled right and these are used for fusing sodium metal that is for sodium fusion test when we are doing preparing the lasagna's filtrate we cut a small piece of sodium metal and dry it between the folds of the filter paper and then we insert that into this ignition tube right to and that uh, that it passes through this and it sets down at the bottom of uh, this ignition tube and should it should be uh, of this small size that it should fit inside the uh, it should pass through this uh, ignition tube and it should go to the bottom touch to the bottom right okay so basically this is used for um, fusing sodium metal that is so for sodium fusion test to prepare lasagna's filtrate or sodium extract now these are small in size that's why I mean, they are disposable. Disposable means that you do not need to wash them. No need to wash them. Never wash them. Do not need to wash them. These are used specially for, um, you know, usually for very strong heating procedures. And um, it is very basic and important glassware that is used in the labs, that is chemistry lab experiments. And uh, uh, resembles, and it resembles to a boiling tube also. Boiling tube is a little bit, you know, thicker in size and a bit larger in size. And it is, uh, you can say, uh, boiling, it is a bit thicker and yes, of course, larger also as compared to this small ignition tube. Now, ignition tubes, these are usually um, used to hold small size particles in it that will uh, undergo a heating directly on the Bunsen burner. Now, if you have a Bunsen burner, I know if this is a Bunsen burner, and and if my fingers are the pair of tongs because I don't have I'm home so due to COVID so I don't have the pair of tongs so just imagine if these are the pair of tongs you will hold them like this and if this is a Bunsen burner you will heat it over this flame like this strong heating and then this is gentle heating and then strong heating over the flame so that it should the all the i mean the sides of the um this ignition tube will be heated all together one at the same time so uh, this was something about ignition tube so usually uh, we use small size particles now pyrex ignition tubes are as i've just mentioned these are the best or excellent choice for the labs and these are uh, plain yes and their material is basically borosilicate glass right so uh, the pyrex ones i'm talking about and they have a round bottom right this one also has a round bottom you can see a round bottom but whereas the pyrex one they are also plain in size and uh, plain material and they're it is basically they are made up of borosilicate glass whereas um, uh, another form is a transparent ignition tubes right like this one and uh, of one ml uh, so this is something about uh, i mean the ignition tube today and uh, some of its uses i've explained it to you that how you can use it in your chemistry lab and basically they are used for fusing something and they are not used uh, disposable that is you do not need to wash them again and again i hope you like this video today and you will uh, you now you know what is an ignition tube thank you very much